Hello my chickens, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we're finally doing a makeup look. I haven't done one in a while, so I'm super excited. I have a lot of new makeup that I wanna play around with and I really wanna do a cool tone eyeshadow look because it's been a really long time since I've done that. So let's go ahead and jump right into the makeup. I just cleaned all of my eyeshadow brushes, so we've got a fresh start for the day. I'm very excited about that. So I'm going to go in and start with the eyebrows. I'm just going to carve them out. So I'm taking this Sigma Flat Definer E15 brush. This one is really good to get underneath the eyebrow and make that nice and sharp under there. Okay, so now I'm going to make a little arch in my brows right under here so they're not as straight. I got my eyebrows tinted like three weeks ago or something so now all the tin is completely out of them and now they're back to their slug ways so that's why I like to bring the concealer up nice and high underneath here so it gives the illusion of a pulled up brow. So the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using today is this Zoeva Melody eyeshadow palette right here. The packaging is so beautiful. Uh, the color, the first color that I'm going to take is the shade World Above. This one right here. So I'm gonna pop this one in the crease. And I'm taking this on a Morphe M573 brush. This one is amazing to blend out those colors in here. Ooh. So far it's blending really nicely. I'm blending this up all the way up to my eyebrow bone, but the higher we get, the less product should be up there. The next color I'm taking is the shade Fly Solo right up here. So now we're gonna dive into the cool tones. So this one's gonna go um, a little bit further down than that last color, so directly in the crease. And we're gonna build this one up so it is a little bit darker. With this color, I really do have to dip it in the pan a few times and it is a little bit powdery, um, but it's not blending away. I'm happy about now taking that previous shade and previous brush I'm just gonna go around the edges and blend this one just a little bit the next color I'm taking is this one which is called about to leave this one is a little bit darker so I'm gonna pop this on the inner corner and outer corner and maybe like bring it in the middle as well I'm gonna do a little bit of a halo eye And I'll take a smaller brush for that inner corner. Wow, I haven't done a dark eye in so long. This is weird. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut the middle bit of the crease. I'm going to take this amazing brush. This is so good for it. It is the Sigma Eye Cream S20 brush. I'm just going to put a big concealer in the middle here and blend it out. Next up, I'm taking this Pat McGrath eyeshadow right here. It's such a beautiful shimmery gold. Oh my God. This is so crazily pigmented well then I'm going in with that dark shade again I'm just gonna go over the edges of that gold just very lightly let's go ahead and apply these bad boys so these ones are from Ilua so I just want to say thank you so much to Ilua for sponsoring today's video I absolutely love working with them because their products are amazing so these are called the most wanted lashes in the style gimme gimme they look really dramatic which is exactly what i want and how amazing is that packaging so these ones are super easy to apply because they are very light on the eyes so they're very comfortable so i will leave the link to these ones down below if you guys are interested so firstly i'm just going to peel off the lash and I might trim them a little bit because my eyes are quite small. I first like to just loosen it up even more and then I'll just go ahead and put a little bit of lash glue on them. The reason these ones are so easy to apply is because the band is super thin which is amazing so I'm just gonna go ahead and look down into my mirror and pop the lash on as close as I can to the lash line. Okay and then I like to pinch them together. There's the before and after. Oh, I love fake lashes so much. Wow. Ilua also have a lot of different styles if you guys want something a little bit more tamed or even something a bit more dramatic. There's literally everything you could ever want. So I'm gonna go on with this Cover FX Water Cold Primer. Ooh, that seems interesting. A blue light defense. I'm excited. Hopefully this is really cooling because 
my face is so flustered right now. You can see all of the like red patches. My face is just like on fire. So, oh wow, that is a blue. Oh my God, that is so cool. Love that for me. Oh, mum. Hello. Hey, mum. Another new product. We have this Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation. I actually haven't heard anyone talking about this, so I'm going to go ahead and mix these two colors together. I do want to blend it down my neck because I am a little bit pasty right now. Oh, wow. That color looks actually perfect. I'm just going to go in with this one. This is the color Driftwood. I'm going to take this Becca foundation brush. Wow, look at it covering up all that redness. Yes, please. Don't forget those ears, girl. And that chin. Also, keep in mind that I have an infected eye. So if you're wondering why my eye is red, that's why. And that's why I haven't been filming ever since I got back from America because I was like, well, I shouldn't be putting makeup on it. But like two weeks later, it's still here. So I'm like, okay, well, I can't not work. You know? Okay, well, my first impression on this foundation is it dries very quickly. So make sure you do blend fast. I really do like the color. Um, I'm going to go in with a beauty blender over the top um, just to pick up any excess foundation. And because that brush wasn't really um, doing the trick, it was leaving like brush strokes and stuff. So I always find that a beauty blender is better. Um, it is definitely a little bit too yellow. I do need to get more of a neutral tone, I'd say. I would absolutely love to put on a wig, but I don't know how to glue them down. So I need to do some more research before I do that. Otherwise it's just gonna look super fake. Maybe I could put like a headscarf on or something. Should I try that? That means I have to do eye, uh, really light eyebrows. For the new concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer. This one's in the shade Cookie Dough in uh, 14N. Hopefully this isn't too dark for me. I'm just gonna put this under my eyes. I don't think I've used this, no. Um, this, oh wow. The tip on this is really nice and cold. Love that. It's like stainless steel or something. Uh, I probably would need to get a shade lighter. Then I'm just going in with a beauty blender and blending that out. Under, under my eyes right now is like super dark. So I'm hoping this is like full coverage. Wow. Wow, that blended out really nicely. I'm really impressed with that. I'm not going too far under my eyes because I am going to put dark colors under there anyway. I've only used this one a few times, but it is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Translucent Mattifying Powder. Mmm, it smells really good, like very peachy. So I'm just going to pop this under my eyes to bake. If I don't bake under my eyes, honestly, it just looks horrible. So creasy. That's working really well. Let's go ahead and finish underneath the eyes. So I'm going to go in with this darker color right here from outer corner to inner corner. And then we'll put a little bit of gold on the middle. Oh my God, this is so powdery under my eyes. Help. It literally looks like I have baboon eyes because of all that um, dark shadow underneath my eyes. Love that for me. So I'm going to go in with this soft focus hydrate set powder in the shade Fair. This is from Jouer Cosmetics. So I'm just going to pop this underneath my eyes just to brighten that up a little bit i feel like it is a little bit dark probably because there's like literally dark brown eyeshadow right underneath my eyeballs i might do this after my bronzer because i can't really like tell Hello. now going in with this new bronzer by benefit they came out with a few new shades oh my god my eyes watering because i just put clear eyes in they were going so bloodshot so this is the haul out benefit bronzer in the shade caramel so they came out with a few darker shades and i think a few lighter shades as well um, this is going to be super dark because I'm going to make sure I have a very light hand. But I'm going to use this just to bronze up my face. Because it is a little bit more on the orange side, which is what I like. It's very, very pigmented. I feel like I definitely need a little bit of a glow on my face. So I'm just going to go in with my uh, MAC Give Me Sun. I know I've used this many times, but um, I don't really want to go in with any more of the Hula. Just because it is matte. I need something a bit more glowy. Now we can go back in with that lighter powder and just highlight under here. Make the illusion of a more chiseled jawbone. Oh, cheekbone. Dumbass. God, I've got some peach fuzz on my face, guys. I really need to get rid of that. ASAP. Wow. Because this light is reflecting on my face, when I'm looking at my face like that, it looks fine. But I just realized it is literally so muddy. Like, that is way too dark for me. My bad. 
And now there's no going back. Like, I don't know what to do. Help. If I put powder over the top, it usually goes ashy. Oh, God, Shans, what have you done? It's like I'm bloody 13 again and gone overboard on the bronzer. Good job. Let's move on to the blush. I'm going to go on with this Ulta 3 Dream Duo Baked Blush um, in the shade... Probably Dream Duo, to be honest with you. I'm going to pick up both of them, tap off the excess, and pop that on my cheeks. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Yeah. I haven't used Ulta 3 before. That's so nice. This is very, very affordable as well. I just love like a luminous glow to the cheeks just to add some color. And then I'm going in with the Ulta 3 Baked Dream Duo Baked Highlighter. This is in the shade Get That Glow and this one's in the shade Blushed Beauty. I don't know how I missed that. Wow. I'm going to mix the two together. Oh my God. Wow. There's something else. It's very pigmented. I have this new lipstick by Shen Xo Beauty. Oh, sorry, Xo Beauty. <laughs> um, in the shade Deja Vu, it is a matte color. It looks really, really pretty. So first, I want to go in with a lip pencil. I don't actually have a new lip pencil, so that's annoying. Um, and I'm very sorry about that. But what I do have is this MAC uh, Spice lip pencil. It's great. It's beautiful. It's life-changing. To be honest with you, it's the best lip liner in the world. So thank you. It's been a while since I've sharpened that bad boy. And there you go. That is how you uh, make yourself look like you've got lip filler. And then you post a photo on Instagram and then you get a lot of hate for getting lip filler. But really, oh wow, that is so light. Girl. That's right. We'll use this as like an ombre color in the middle. And we'll go in with more lip liner. I feel like Shannon can pull off light lips so well. But I can't. It is a really nice formula though. Oh my god. Wow, that combo is so good. The next product that I have right here is actually really interesting and I'm excited to use it. It is called the Be Your Roller Baby uh, Rollerball Gloss in the shade Choose Your Happy. So that is cool. Um, roll and gloss, hello. I'm just scared it's going to take the lipstick off. I guess you could just use it on liquid lipsticks, right? Mm. It's really cooling. Okay, not what I expected. It's a nice, like, light gloss. Okay, I'm gonna go get cute up. Is this too much? I feel like it's a lot going on right now. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much. Also, I'll leave everything that I used in today's video down in the description below if you guys are interested in any of that. I love you guys very, very much. Um, this week is very cute as well. It just looks very fake, like up here. So I had to put a headband over it. I don't know. Cute. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bring old Shawnee back. Long-haired Shawnee. <laughs>